Um, why is hydrofluoric acid a weak acid compared to other hydrogen halides? Um, so this just brings up um, one important point, which is that your um, acid strength is um, inversely proportional to um, your bond strength. And by bond strength here, I mean the bond strength to hydrogen. So if X is, um, say, all the halides, then the stronger this bond is, the weaker your acid, or another way of putting it, the weaker the bond is, the stronger the acid. So um, for uh, if X is chlorine, bromine, iodine, then that bond is sufficiently weak and it breaks very easily when you when you dilute it in water and so you get the hydrogen coming off and you get and you basically get complete dissociation um, of the acid. But then for HF uh, this bond is strong enough Uh, the bond is strong enough that instead um, you get an equilibrium um, because now it, it can go back and forth and so now you have a weak acid instead of a strong acid. Um, and so this bond would just be strong because uh, if you recall right the periodic table or the, the halogens are ordered like this. Um, so although fluorine and electronegativity would actually increase this way, although fluorine is the most electronegative, uh, which would um, weaken the bond, it's also the smallest, so the hydrogen can get up very close forming a, a much stronger bond, while, while down below these species are so large, uh, size being the um, n value for, for the orbitals and the number of electrons, um, you get much higher repulsion as well as their electronegativity playing a part and, and it weakens the bond sufficiently that for these species it breaks almost instantly and for this, it's, it's now a weak acid instead of a strong acid. Okay. Um, <clears throat> checking the solution here. So um, it's because the bond is strong um, and it's stronger than in all the other halides, which is what leads it to be a weak acid. So it's good.